Many of us have stayed at home for over a year due to the pandemic. And now that travel is beginning to open up, we're starting to go on vacations again. But many people are very apprehensive about traveling in the current circumstances and are not sure how to travel safely. I'm going to be talking about general safe vacationing tips. But before I get into that, I want to talk about safe vacationing for LGBTI people in particular. If you're LGBT or one of your family friends are, one of the places you can go to check for guidance about traveling is the Spartacus International Gay Guide. Forbes also has an article on the friendliest countries for LGBTI travelers, which revealed that Canada is the safest country for LGBTI travel. Please see the links below in the description. My partner John and I just returned from an amazing trip to France and Spain. It was a wonderful gift given to us for our 40th anniversary. And there were safety procedures and protocols to follow before and during the trip, including COVID tests and COVID tests and COVID tests, country-specific health passes and proof of vaccination, but we got through it. The best safety tip is to make sure you're fully vaccinated. And if you're not, you won't be able to travel. Make sure you know the requirements of the country that you're traveling to and the latest travel advisories. Please see links in the description below for sites that have this information. Make sure that you have adequate health and travel insurance in place and that your insurance contacts are close at hand. Carry lots of hand sanitizers with you and wash your hands frequently. In addition to COVID related measures, there's some other general safety tips most of which are recommended by Tico Ontario's travel regulator. Try to look like a local as much as possible. Don't stand out as one of those tourists. Leave your jewelry at home or wherever you're staying. Make sure that you have maps and clear directions on where you're going. Carry some extra cash with you in case you need it and distribute that in secure places. Carry extra IDs and cards with you and distribute them so that they are not all in one place. Ensure that someone back home has all of your travel details and copies of your IDs and that you can be in contact with them frequently. Look into local travel costs in advance so that you can not be overcharged. You can seek guidance from your hotel or local people if you know any. When possible, get a local tour guide or travel in a group. It's common to meet new people on trips, especially when traveling alone, but do so with caution, especially don't share too many details with someone you've just met. Know the location of your country's embassy and consulate in case you need help in an emergency. If you're from Canada, you can register your travel for free at travel.gc.ca. This allows government officials to contact and assist you in an emergency and to notify you if there's an emergency at home. In some countries, it's safer to drink bottled water. Ask at restaurants if the water they're serving is bottled water, if you're not sure. Add your own personal experience with safety concerns when traveling. Once you have all your safety measures in place, you will truly be able to enjoy your vacation. We'd love to hear from you about your next vacation or some travels you've just had. Tell us in the comments below how it went. What were the complications? Do you have advice for anyone else traveling? If you like this video, please hit the like or subscribe buttons and share with friends. It's free to do so and it really helps our channel. Thank you.